We're gonna run into this Panzer II here, full speed. Oh, shit! Hey guys, what is up, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we have something ridiculous to drive out. This is probably first of a kind. This is a user-made model by no other than Nova29R. This is the same guy that made my Star Thunder video possible with that crazy, you know, space plane user-made mission. And recently, he just added a workable R2-D2 into the game. And now we have this thing. This is the Bigfoot experiment. Additionally, we're able to modify the monster truck or Bigfoot's performance in game so we're just gonna go ahead and start see how she moves and then maybe modify it so we can get some ridiculous physics out of this dagor engine all right guys let's do this okay here we go boys oh my look at that that is fucking awesome and what a perfect map to drive this thing out on we are on white rock fortress with a ton of hills and appropriate terrain for a monster truck. Now, do we have a cockpit? I don't know how this thing's gonna work. CCCP. <laughs> All right, here we go, boys. Oh man, this is gonna this is gonna be a fun day, boys. This is we're, oh my god, we're going seventy. Holy shit, seventy kilometers an hour. Now let's see how she wades water. Oh my. All right, now don't flip over. She should be able to wade water. Okay, yep, yep. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. Why weren't there monster trucks in World War II? 30 kilometers through this water. This would take the tank probably like twice as long. All right, now we got to see how this thing climbs up the hill. If you think about it, we don't really need any more performance at all. Okay, here we are. 90, 90, 100 kilometers an hour. <laughs> I don't think we need to modify this thing at all. Okay, come on. Let's go up this hill. Beautiful. Before we do any more testing, and look at this. He has both axles able to turn like real monster trucks do. God, this thing's got a tighter turning circle than like a T-62. Okay, but I want to see how fast we can go. Let's find some nice flat terrain. We were kind of already out there, and then we'll get into some monster trucking behavior. Actually, let, let's go down this hill real quick. The one that we came from. Then we'll go on that flat terrain over there. All right, here we go. Top speed test. Nice straightaway here. Already at 70 kilometers an hour. 90, 100. 100 and... Oh, we went over some rough terrain here. Come on, put us up there. There we go. 120. Hun Dude, this thing will probably hit 140 if we keep it... Okay, yeah. Let's use this downhill here to build us up some speed. And then we'll hang a right... Because over there is some rough terrain that we slowed down on. God, I can't even fucking control this thing. So we'll hang it right here, full speed. Here we go. Already 50 kilometers an hour. Well, it has some trouble shifting gears. There you put, put it in eight, would you? I think this thing likes flat terrain. There we go. 90. 100. 120. 130. Wow. Okay, so 130, I think, is our max speed here. Now let's go ahead. I, I want to show you the possibilities that, oh my God, look at that fucking drift, dude. That was from years of experience in Need for Speed 2, I think. I actually didn't play one. I only played two personally because I didn't have a PS1. I, I got an Xbox for, um, oh, this is not a good thing. All right. We'll just keep driving her. Oh my God. Submarines confirmed. No, no, no. We're okay down here. Oh, can we take a second and think about a submarine in War Thunder? Look how beautiful it would look down here. I'm sure we can get out of this, right? No. We're going to J out or just lead the vehicle. Oh, I got a buddy with me. We are on Mazda. Hey, there's an enemy over here. Hey, let's move. Come on. Follow me. Can we shoot in this thing? Oh my god. What if this thing had like fucking ATGMs and shit? No, but you gotta add that thing. We're gonna run into this Panzer II here, full speed. Oh shit! He's in us! We're moving on to the next one. Get a Panzer. Oh, we're not gonna hit him here. Too much weight on my left wheel. Get off me, bro. 
Why didn't they use these things again? Why didn't they use these things in World War II, boys? Now on to the Panzer IV, I believe. The one with the short 75. Front or, uh, center mass, 120 kilometer hour ram. Beautiful. Get the fuck out of here. Now a Panther. This is going to be impossible. I'm going to redo this. Redo, redo, redo. Now, what? Uh, so, War Thunder here. I I can't just talk. I, I got to play. War Thunder has added the ability for user-made missions on multiplayer. You know, like that insane video I had when, you know, we we're fighting over the volcano. We we're pushing people off and such. Why can't they add user-made models for user-made missions, right? Because, I mean, I'm not a designer or anything, but all you had to have to do is to join it is maybe check a box in the launcher to say, yes, I want to download these things when I join. But all you have to download is a small file to join the game. I mean, that would be flipping awesome. Like, these guys on War Thunder Live could potentially create their own kind of games in War Thunder. And then that's where I think the kicker is. War Thunder doesn't want to give us the players that much power to, you know, have a, well, I don't know if, if I was like, if I had license over the Dagor engine or wh whatever this engine is called, I really wouldn't want people putting in like infantry into the game or, you know, something that doesn't fit the core mechanic of the game for a multiplayer scene. But maybe, maybe, I don't know. But it would be flipping awesome because I'm just thinking of like, you know, 32 versus 32 derby with monster trucks and machine guns. Kind of like Cross Out and War Thunder. But here we go. Panthers will get fucked up by Bigfoot. Eat it! Oh. I'll be damned, boys. We're gonna need some more room for this. We're going back further. Yeah, this is a much better map to test out top speed. I think our top speed is around 135, 130. Okay, this is good time for an amazing drift here. I'm gonna drift around a tree and then we'll go for that Panther again. Watch this. Need for speed two, hype. That actually worked out a lot better than I thought. <laughs> okay, here we go. On a long final approach to Ram the Panther. Ooh, and then there's a moving tank off to our right that we can try it on. Okay, 126. 130. 130. No, 130 is our top speed. Let's start. Let's stop. Start. Stop. Stop turning here. I think we're the same speed that we were last time. But maybe some of the crew and ammo's jostled around. We're going to hang a small small little right here so we stay on track. Ooh, we'll go right for the front, right? I don't know. Eat it, bitch! God, she's tough, boys. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I'm stuck in his... Uh, okay, there we go. I wonder if I can, like, jump off this panther because look at that uh, upper plate. Nice little ramp right there. But over here is that moving tank that I want to find. Where do you fucking go? I, I, I swear I saw him. Yeah... Definitely got to chill with the oversteering here. Now, what is this one? This looks like a, this looks like a pan, panzer. We'll, we'll, we'll get this guy down pretty easily. What's up, dude? He's like, holy shit. Nine, nine. What the fuck? These guys. Are, oh, we teabagged him. All right, he's out. I'm just going to carry this guy around for a little bit. All right, all right. Stop it, stop it, stop. Okay. Uh, I am now. It's a monster panzer. There we go. Here's that panther. We're gonna jump them, boys, with the right wheels. Here we go. Yes, perfect. Nope, didn't work out. Panther's too tough. We're gonna let him be. He's already had enough punishment today. But another thing that I would love to see is like a user-made mission with like different values for tanks and planes, like weights and speeds and such, to where maybe we could have a user-made model of a you know a tank with wings such as like a t-54 with wings you know just to the lulls maybe like two rocket engines on the back to where you can land oh my god i love this thing so much 
where you can land. This is like, you know, a custom battle. Whoa, 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 you're moving and shit. Welcome, man. But yeah, so it'd be like a 16 versus 16 um, T-54 flying tanks versus M60 flying tanks. And you're able to take off, fly like a normal plane, but a very fast plane with a single shot cannon on it with maybe a faster reload or something. And then there would be objectives on the on the map, on the floor, ground, that you would have to land and drive and maybe fold the wings up to capture the base. Something like that, man. There's so many possibilities. And hopefully, War Thunder allows some, a little bit more customization. And, you know, maybe we could get them approved as well. So, like, they could allow crazy user-made mission or model stuffs, but they might have to be approved. I don't know. We're going to climb this massive hill, which is like the most OP spot in Mazdaq. I don't really think about any... I don't really think any more it is because everyone looks up here. Oh my god, look at this thing. 70 kilometers an hour up this hill. Now let's take out some... Oh yeah, how is this thing at tree removal? I'm going to clear me a path here, though. Oh my god, it's just like an M1 Abrams through these things. We got 21 seconds. We're going to go off this jump here. Well, not, not this one, but this is a pretty steep incline. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we just killed that shit. All right, full power. And we go off this big one here. See, see how long our hang, hang time is. Hundred kilometers off. One miss. Oh, it's not that cool actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're pretty good at navigating the map with this thing. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna ask around War Thunder and, wow, look at that, just perfect. I should play that game on the Xbox 360 or, you know, with that uh, motorcycle. But I really want to see if um, we can have some discussion with the uh, War Thunder dev team or just, you know, the lawyers or something to see if it's possible to maybe get some projects approved for user-made um, model download, like, like a collective for like Arma and War Thunder. But guys, have a great day. Hope you have enjoyed. Peace out.